Hello everyone, Shadefire here, and welcome back to Let's Play Jurassic World Evolution. This is episode 2. Last time we kind of got our park established and kind of did some of these missions that the game throws at you at the beginning. But uh, hopefully now we'll get through the, some of the other missions and start seeing some more dinosaurs. So, we incubated a Triceratops, now she wants a Triceratops with a better genome. As well as some research, so... Oh, let's extract that. We'll send out our expedition team to look for Triceratops DNA. Triceratops and Draco Rex, Ceratosaurus. Guess we have to send it out to one of these double ones if we can't... We can't just uh, focus on Triceratops. So hopefully they'll bring back the fossils we need. Because what is our genome at right now? I don't know how to bring this screen up aside from going to the lab. So kind of have to do that for now until I figure out if there's a shortcut for it. So we're at 54%, so it might take a little while to get that going. Oop. Troll room. Let's see if we can get a contract while we wait. Opportunity has presented itself. Alright, so she wants us to get a genome to 50%, which has to be one that's already under 50%. That's why it says a new one. So, how are we doing on that? What's the closest? Edmontosaurus is at 48, Draco Rex is at 37, so I guess we'll send out an Edmontosaurus team next time. Though I think there's one that has all three of those herbivores, so maybe we'll send it there. Also, one thing that's definitely disappointing, visitors in this game are seemingly just cosmetic. They're just kind of zombies that wander around. You can't click them and see their thoughts, or you know, see their name, or anything like that, so they have been drastically reduced in their function. And that's going to be the case with, I think, some of the functionality stuff in this game. And that's kind of one of the big complaints people have been having so far. It's just that a lot of the systems are a little simplistic, which may be improved by the developer. Since Frontier are usually good about continuing to work on their stuff. You know, Planet Coaster is still getting updates, still being worked on. Some of them free, some of them DLC. This game has a free content update that's coming out with Jurassic World. Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom when that releases here in North America because it's out everywhere else in the world, but not here, not until the 22nd. So when that comes out, they'll be adding some of the species from that, like uh, Carnotaurus, and I assume they'll be adding the Indoraptor at that point, because I know the Indoraptor is going to be in the game, but I don't think it is right now. Okay, so we got Triceratops Amber and Draco Rex Amber, so that should give us a big chunk of DNA. But we'll send out another expedition, because these aren't that expensive, and we have enough money that we can afford to send these out. So I think there was that one that had three, yeah. Oh, it's Struthamimus Edmontosaur Triceratops. We'll send it there, because we could use some Edmontosaur DNA. Horned Lizard. So it's nice that they've got like a little dinosaur database that's a little more comprehensive than the one in Operation Genesis. Some actual paleon I was about to say paleontological, but I'm still not sure if that's an actual word. <laughs> Learned Bony Frill, best known dinosaurs, three horned face. Alright, so again, we're kind of just waiting, because that's all we can do. 
I could send in the Jeep and take some photos. Alright, our Draco Rex is now viable. Which means we have completed our contract. Let me tell you something that I myself have heard many times before. I don't know how you did it, just that you did. So thanks. So we could make one of these guys now, but I think we'll wait on that for the moment. Again, they are not really cheap. The Struth of Mimus is kind of the only cheap dinosaur, and I think that's because we're supposed to make a big herd of them. In fact, I might just put another one out there. I kind of want to make one with the arid skin just to see the difference or the savanna pattern. Let's try the savanna pattern. Apply gene. However, applying genes does reduce the viability of your species. Which means they are more likely to not hatch if you mess with their genes too much. They also cost a little bit more. However, I believe all the modifications you do will increase their rating, so that, you know, visitors like them more. Okay, so this might be enough to get us up to 70. I don't know how much the various quality of fossil are worth yet. Maybe let's send somebody out for... You know what? I want to see... Where is it? The Huangasaur... Right, I'm not even going to try to pronounce that Chinese dinosaur name. Yangosaurus. Yangosaurus. You, Yangosaurus. They seem like they just kind of hang out around the feeder. Where is my other Struth? Let's check out our new one. That savanna skin, the racing stripes, blending in with all this greenery. People like to feel secure. That's our job. This contract enhances our ability to do so. Okay, so facility rating. I'm not 100% sure what we need to do for that. Let's go into our control room, see our island rating, facility rating. Okay, satisfaction. Great capacity. I'm Claire. Yes, thank Garen, you. And I've been on these islands before. Oh, there's Claire. On Isla Nublar, I made some mistakes, and I've tried to set them right. I believe in what we're doing, and I believe in these dinosaurs. So our dino vis dinosaur visibility is not great, but we can't really do much about that right now because we don't have any other ways to see them except putting a big old vent there. I guess the problem with this enclosure is it's so big that usually the dinosaurs are not going to be where you want them to be. So I might have to build another one where this bush is. And another big difference in this game, well, big to me, you can build curved, curved paths, curved fences, no more big cubes like you had to do in Operation Genesis. So, the enclosures look a little neater like this. Some silver. There's the uh, bony boy. We'll start extracting DNA there. I guess I can't get any of the deluxe edition species yet either. Alright, so how are we doing on the Triceratops genome? 67%, so the next fossil should do it for us. How are you doing? Live bait feeder. Not empty yet. However, this one The is. last thing you'll want is hungry dinosaurs in your park. 
Use a ranger team to resupply feeders. So you can do that manually, but again, you can also just assign them the jobs you don't want to do, and they'll go do them. You'll notice, too, that there's no, like, theming. You can't make, like, oh, this is a thrill gallery or a playpen or anything like that. You also can't really see what they want you to do. So it seems like they would get along in a group of three. And the ideal population, I guess, for the total enclosure, not just for the species, is 20. Or maximum of 20. So you can put other dinosaurs in, but again, as far as I can tell, he would just kill any of the... any of the herbivores they put in. However, I could make another Ceratosaur and put it in there with him. Her. They're all hers, I suppose. Unless Jurassic World's dinosaurs are just sterile instead. But that is a pricey thing to put in. So I might hold off until the DNA is better. Our fossil team just came in, and they didn't bring me any Triceratops, so I should go for something with a smaller range. Alright, so while we wait on that to do its thing, let's get another contract here. Can't really speed up the thing there. I've looked this gig over. You should too. Okay. Dinosaur eating from a feeder, so that might be a little tough because I just kind of have to hang around until they, you know, eat from a feeder. Also, I might have to build a hill later because you can do some sick jumps with this thing and not have to worry about damaging it as you teleport guests out of the way. The problem here is that the jeep scares dinosaurs, so I can't get too close to this feeder. Control reassigned. Now you'll notice the Struthomimus are not hanging out in any sort of real social group, because I don't think there's really proper herding in this game yet. Which is another one of the things that people are not happy about. But you know, it would be nice, because if Operation Genesis could do it, I don't think it's really that complicated to get them to want to hang out together and run a little flock. I know you're hungry. Look at him kind of cautiously watching. I think if the engine's off, it shouldn't spook them. I don't think just taking a picture of one of them is going to get me any points here. Ooh. Cool photo. Did I sound sincere? Because that's what I was going for. I'd work with you anytime. The species repetition penalty. All 
Alright, so that was a pretty easy one. And we should have our fossils. Triceratops fossil, good. Sell this Renium. So this one right here should be enough to put us at 70%. Things still got 5 out of 10, so that's good. I should probably put another feeder over on this side. That's not what I want. I want enclosures. Also, you can see there's a tall herbivore feeder for the taller species. Did I not start that research? I feel like I meant to go in here and do that and completely forgot. Electrified light steel. More fossil space. Power upgrades. ACU upgrades. None of this seems that great right now. Well, we are making profit. We have a clothes shop, we have a food shop. We don't have a gift shop yet. So that might boost our rating up. Can I fit one of these on this cliff here? And we should still have plenty of power left. I wonder if we can build a geothermal power plant at some point. Just for accuracy's sake. Okay. So we have 76%, so let's incubate. But again, yeah, I, this game could really benefit from just a speed up feature. I feel like selling Barbasol would not be great because I don't what think anyone knew. You did good. The significance there. Can also sell the night vision goggles. Which, uh, I guess they're not that expensive despite being heavy. So they're only 20 bucks. Okay, so you should be ready. Nope. Still slowly ticking along. The viability is pretty good, so it shouldn't fail on us. Forty-eight of two forty. I think we don't need to hire more staff yet. I think one person can handle forty-eight people at a time. All right. How's our Ceratosaur doing? Not bad. But again, doesn't really do much by himself, herself. Our second trike. Remember, the show must go on. This contract makes that possible. Reach 125,000 income per minute. I think we're a little short of that. 112,000. But maybe having a second triceratops will be what I need to boost that up. Because what are their requirements? No, that's not what I want. Ideal population, 1 to 16. Social group, 1 to 6. Appetite and metabolism. Nope. Oh my gosh, you got a sick dinosaur on your hands. It's time to trade it. 
sick or with hookworms. What comes next? That's going to be on your hands as well. Yeah, so I guess that one was scripted because they had me research the hookworm Adding vaccine. Task. So the ranger team will drive out there and shoot him with a healing dart. Because that hasn't changed. They're just going to drive right through the jungle, huh? Right through the water. Just saw how you completed that contract. One word. Nice. Well, doing good there. You can see the dart just missed. Him. <laughs> Certainly didn't take her down before she even felt the prick of the dart. But then again, this is not conch venom. I think it'll take a while for the tranks to kick in, though. Or, sorry, the vaccine. I've done it. We are on the path to a pure strain dinosaur. This will definitely shift the paradigm. I can't ignore this accomplishment. Oh, with your help, obviously. That goes without saying. But under my direction, I think we make a good team. Let's do this again. I'll let you know when. I've witnessed Dr. Dua flail and fail before. Now with you, she believes she is on her way. Does she really think she can accomplish what I have not? Sound a little jealous there, Doc. Word is that a new contract is available. I don't really want a contract that requires me to spend more money than they're going to give me right now. Alright, so we should be able to take the other mission. Glad to have you on board. As you can imagine, the animals in the various facilities are constantly probing for weaknesses in our security systems. They're smarter and more devious than people give them credit for. But I refuse to underestimate their capabilities. That's why I'm always testing and evaluating our security protocols and barriers. And this is where you come in. I've got to give this guy Lambert his due. He actually sees these animals as both opportunity and threat. Right, because he's like paranoid that the dinosaurs are always trying to outsmart him. DNA from fossils to incubate and hatch a dinosaur. This is the first phase of this mission. Carry on. All right, so I'm gonna start building another enclosure. I think I'm gonna clear out this part of this lake and turn it into a viable habitat. I wish you could like get an outline of your fence through the trees because I can't see what I'm building right now. I'm just having to guess that it looks all right. And let's go to landscaping, go to water. So I should probably be able to fit one more back here. It's going to be, oh, I guess definitely more than one because there's this whole area there and then kind of all the way back around this little mountain section. 
This is going to probably cost a fair bit to remove, but we need the space. And we'll clear out some of these trees, too. Not sure what I'm going to put in here yet. Okay, who's got a disease? You have the common cold. So I believe you start with the cure for the common cold already. Or just the cure for the dinosaur common cold. Let's go to our Edmontosaur fossils. Extract. Sell that rhodium. Oh, we're doing pretty good on money right now. We got almost three million. I could incubate a Draco Rex, but again, we don't have a lot of viable DNA yet. What about research? What can we do for research right now? I don't really want to mess okay. with the genetics just Next, yet. Next, you'll need to incubate the animal in a Hammond Creation Laboratory before releasing and housing it in an enclosure. You'll also want to make sure we've got an ACU presence on this island. Well, we're making good money, so I guess that's why I've got so much now. My profits are pretty stellar. So I guess I can probably afford to start pumping out more dinosaurs to fill up this enclosure. Since they don't have a particularly high population. Of either, really. Because so, I should probably have about, you know, eight or so of those Struthamimus, I think. For a good group. I almost feel like at some point I'll want to build a Hammond Creation Lab in just kind of a tiny little enclosure just for the purpose of transporting dinosaurs out because like I want to make another Ceratosaurus but I'm gonna have to kind of hope that it gets tranked right away in fact, I might want to just park the ACU helicopter here. So that it doesn't get a chance to attack anything. I also wish you could pull up the thing that showed you the dinosaur's moods. Where you could just hold spacebar and it would show the little faces over them. But I guess that's not fancy enough. Also, no park-wide announcements when you get a new species, which is a shame. Looking very cautiously around. I got some Draco Rex fossils. Let's get that genome up. Okay, the electrified fences are still going, but I wonder if I research something else. Well, I guess I can't. You can't just select something else and have the team switch focus. So I'll have to wait till these fences are done before I can finish this mission. Seems like they have a strict social need. 
They need a few socialized partners, but they don't need very many or else it's too much. However, the population is fine. So we'll start incubating a second Ceratosaur to put Something with my first come one. Up that could be interesting and profitable. Okay, just wants me to unearth a small or medium herbivore. Let's get a little bit more of that uh, Viangosaurus. Probably Huayangosaurus. Look at that color splash. What purpose does that serve? I'm just trying to look fancy. Okay, there's the steel fences. You kind of think we would want those for our Serratus War already, but they seem to be behaving. So we need the reload speed. Which is very quick. You also don't seem to have the option to make deep water at all, so they'll just trundle around in it. Maybe that'll come with the Aquatic Species DLC. I'm sure there's going to be a fair amount of DLC for this game, but I also kind of don't mind if they add more dinosaurs, maybe more building styles, some new genetics, just more stuff. Maybe some decorative right. stuff, too. This next bit is going to sound a little crazy because, frankly... It is. But we are going to encourage one of the dinosaurs to breach our containment grid. We'll then react and see if our procedures and personnel are up to the challenge. Yes. So at this point, I'd like to take back everything I just said about this guy. So yeah, he wants you to let the thing rampage, but it's scripted to be agitated, so you'll see he's going to break out anyway. I can't even look at the health of the fence. And the guests, of course, have zero reaction at all. Oh no, they actually do react. I take it back. And these scientists, however, don't give a fuck. I've heard good things about the expedition. You certainly made the science division a star. And okay. And of course you too. I'm not forgetting, just prioritizing. So we got some fossils we can't use, so we just sell that. Alright, the goose is loose. She has a mighty urge to trample. There's somebody okay, dead. We have our runner. Time to tag him and bag him. We're using less than lethal, but remember, that dinosaur doesn't know this is just supposed to be a drill. So watch your back. While I understand the need to keep our security as sharp as possible, this is not the way I would go about doing it. If you have a problem with how we keep you safe, Doctor, I'm happy to discuss it at a later time. Right now, we have our hands full. You have a problem with how we keep you safe uh -oh. by letting this that thing just run expensive. all over the science team? You should get that fixed, and soon. A ranger team is equipped for that. Okay, so I can send them to just repair the fence. Where was that breach? En route. I thought I would just have to build another section of fence there. That's what I did last time. Uh, 
Yeah, so the fence needs power to actually be an electrified fence. Montasaur is down. Acknowledging asset collection request. I'm also not sure if they will wake back up from tranquilizing. When it told me to trank the Ceratosaur, I did that, and it never got back up until I picked it up and moved it like a foot to the left. So I'm not sure how long these tranks go, but it seems like a long time. Oh, I can, right, I can change skin to the pre-order bonus, which was just two orange skins, one for the jeep, one for the helicopter. So I could add that, and somehow putting a little shooting range on the roof makes them reload faster. Asset has been collected. Sadly, you can't really select a dinosaur when they're getting dragged through the air. Alright, they're just chilling. Looking around with their weird bird heads. And they're like permanent frown. And that's the third mission complete, or at least the, fir the first mission for each of the departments. And that the job finished, true and square. Look, the thing is, we're still learning where our boundaries are when it comes to keeping these animals under control. God knows they're working out ways to exploit our weaknesses. Guess we'll find out who gets to the limits of our abilities first, us or them. Ever vigilant. And that's always been the challenge of the Jurassic Industrial Complex. Exploitation versus security. The immense potential for profit and for violence. So I wonder if we just can't get any other fossil sites until we get the next island? Because it seems like we need these to unlock them and only one per island. So I'm I'm guessing maybe the next island won't have one of those built already. But yeah, I mean, there doesn't seem like there's much going on right now. We've completed all the missions, but we can't get Ila Muerta until we get to three stars, and we seem to be just kind of stuck on the cusp. Um... So if we get a little bit more progress with the science team, we can get extraction speed increased, which would be nice. So let's see, maybe we can get a contract from her that isn't the same one. Then again, we have four million, so I guess I could build a hotel. I guess I could afford it. I've received an offer that will definitely help the science division and can help you as well. I forgot that we had a ceratosaur in here. We are caretakers in every sense. So take care of the dinosaurs, our guests, and most importantly, of yourself. Confirming task. You better get there quick. Though I wonder, I would assume that a Triceratops would win against a Ceratosaur. Ceratosaur's pretty small. A carnivore, I see. This time, a Ceratosaurus. There are distinctive spines that run down its back, and a bladed horn on its head. <laughs> Just what you don't want to run into when you're out there alone, or in a group. to collect the asset. And sadly, I don't have another carnivore, so I guess I'll just have to make another ceratosaur.
Yeah, that costs, like, five times more than they're going to pay me for this, but I need the reputation boost more than I need the money at the moment. So I could build another, another enclosure. I mean, I've already got an empty one, but again, I want to keep expanding. I know that if we want to unlock the Ila Nublar sandbox, we have to apparently come back to this island later and get it up to four stars. So having that stuff kind of set up already would help with that. Again, I can't tell where the fence is. The fence is all the way back there. So all these trees can go. Just deforesting this island. I'm not so sure what Nemo was mad about. As they destroy all of these trees. I can probably actually just delete a little bit of this section here. Where did the trees come back? I wonder if it's because it's cheaper to lay a path than it is to destroy trees, so they come back so that you can't just use the path as a cheap removal. Alright, he's incubating. Ila Nublar. Ila Muerta. More hazardous island. I strongly suggest you consider taking this contract. Release two new dinosaurs? Well, hopefully my Ceratosaur will count for that. So it's already on the go. And let's make a Draco Rex as well. And hope that it doesn't fail in the process. But yeah, at this point, we don't really have a good way to expand our species catalog. We just have to wait. And wait, and wait. I guess I could build a hotel. That would at least let me put out something that I don't already have. I want enough space so I can maybe fit another vent over here. Yes, you've replenished our stock of young dinosaurs. That will keep our research operating at a hundred percent efficiency. No matter what anyone else says, science is what makes or breaks us. Admittedly, sometimes both. But on Isla Matanceros, you are making us and yourself look good. And that's worth a reward. This Draco Rex is looking pretty good, too. Look at that head. All hail the Dragon King, the Draco Rex. Sounds so intimidating, but it's just a plant eater. However, just in case they do rule the Earth again, don't tell them I said that. 
Also, the Harry Potter dinosaur, because the scientific name for the Draco Rex is Draco Rex Hogwartsia. Since it was discovered by amateur paleontologists, and the original holotype skeleton, or skull, I believe was donated to a children's hospital. I think that's how the name came about. Also, I think I read that there's still kind of debate whether Draco Rex is actually a separate species from Pachycephalosaurus or just a juvenile. I think it's the same debate with the Stygimaloc too. That they might all be parts of the Pachycephalosaurus life cycle. But at least here it counts as a separate dinosaur. I think the original holotype was only discovered in 2006 as well. So it's one of the more recent discoveries. Still looking pretty good and didn't really get any focus before the game's release. It was one of the dinosaurs that people were asking for a species profile on, and it didn't really get one. Also, where did it go? Draco? Well, no, that's the truth of Mimus. Being able to hold spacebar to see the remotion thing also helped you find your dinosaurs, because you could just follow the big emotes in the sky. Now I just have to kind of try to find this guy. I mean, this area is starting to fill out, though still pretty sporadic on my actual numbers of each species. Oh, straight my Draco Rex is in these bushes somewhere. And what are your needs? Uh, looks like everything's met. It's not completely comfortable. Oh, because he's not social. He needs a he needs a friend. Need to make you a friend. Alright, so I guess I'll release another Ceratosaur. From where I'm standing, that's job done. Acknowledged. Triceratops is like, nope, not having any of that. How is my other Ceratosaur doing? I haven't really kept in track of them. Carnivore feeder is empty. Okay, we're making a lot of money. It's actually going really well. We are pleased to welcome us. Proceeding to the feeder now. One of your dinosaurs has failed to incubate. I never said bringing back dinosaurs was going to be easy. And that is a, uh, a pretty big problem that gets mentioned in the Lost World novel, is that they actually had a high failure rate for the Jurassic Park dinosaurs, as well as, of course, the VX... Was it VX? I can't remember now. The unknown pathogen that was killing a bunch of the dinosaurs as well. So, we just flush him when he fails. We don't want to mess with that because it's already not surviving great as it is. So we should probably increase their genome again. Alright, and this hotel doesn't have any power, so it's not doing me any good right now. So I want to build a substation here. Stretch up some power lines. Hotel uses a lot of power, but... Oh, right. Probably don't want to leave him there until he starves. She. It. Asset to be collected. So, what was their population? It was three, right? It was the good group? Yeah, so they should be fine. There's two feeders, so they shouldn't have to worry about food. Bump. Yep, look at that AI intelligence at work. I think they are going to improve the AI in the future. It's one of the things they're going to work on. And we didn't actually need the Draco Rex, so we don't need to watch him. Feeder needs resupply.
having to refill these kind of seems like busy work. Like, it's not even like I have to do very much. It's just do that. But I guess maybe when you have multiple large enclosures and, you know, a bunch of feeders in each one, then you might have to worry about that. We are very close to getting this star. I was hoping the hotel would push us there. I wonder if this emergency shelter would do anything for our rating. I mean, we need one anyway, I guess. Probably should have put that over here. It's not going to do them much good. All the way over there. And we still have an empty enclosure that I don't even really have anything to put in. I want to keep filling this up. The Triceratops just waiting there for someone to come and give it more food. Panicking. I think they're just pissy about the Jeep. Alright. So, Draco Rex Fossil. Extract. Oh, got something coming in. Yes, Site C, more commonly known as Isla Muerta. A newly developed island. The name, roughly translated, and I do mean roughly, the island of the dead. Fitting. Humorous, even. Isn't... Aren't the five deaths supposed to be five different methods of death? Not, like, Death Island is where you die. All right, so we'll stay here for the moment. We are going to... I think we're going to move on next episode. So we'll save Ila Muerta for that. But things are coming along nicely here. Again, not a very good spread of dinosaurs. But hopefully, when we go to our next park, our next island, we will be able to kind of improve that situation by getting more expedition teams out there and getting more species coming in. So I think we'll call it here for the moment. We can always use a few more resources. Here's our chance to earn some. Where does it even say my guest count? Finances, income, expenses, man, even the darts cost money. I don't see where we would check that. Reputation. Arrival point, would that tell me? Close park. Get out. Yeah, I have no idea where I would find this information. I'm sure it's here somewhere. Is it management views? Weather, shelter, dinosaur visibility, traction. Oh, I just noticed that. So, like, food is in high demand there because there's no restaurant over on that side. And also over by the hotel. I'm bringing this contract to you while it's still hot. But yeah, I don't know where I would find my guest count. Map, maybe? No? Vehicles, dinosaurs... I'm glad that these dinosaurs don't get, like, hungry when they're in there. I 
All right, well, I think we'll wrap up here. I'm Owen Grady, Owen to my friends. I've seen things I'd rather not talk about, but it hasn't dampened my commitment to the dinosaurs. The raptors more generally, and me and Blue specifically. We have a special relationship, like what I have with Claire. Less complicated. Anyway, nice to meet you. I guess Chris Pratt was maybe a little too expensive since he's a pretty hot item right now. Hatch of Triceratops. Might be cute now, but that's only gonna last for about a week. Where did you even come from, Owen? You weren't here the entire time, and now you're just like, oh, by the way, here's some dinosaur facts. Alright. A lot of people streaming into that hotel. I wonder if at some point I have to use the wider paths because there's too much traffic. Alright, I think that's a good place to call it. So next time, we will move on to... Ila Muerta. And check out what kind of new options we have for dinosaurs and buildings and such. So until then, I've been Shadefire, this is Jurassic World Evolution, and I hope you'll come join me as I build my parks next time. Take care, everyone.